Hello, this is Pastor Fred Digby bringing you greetings from the Calvary Baptist Church, Accra, Ghana. How are you? I trust you had a very good year. It is that time of year again when we remember Christmas. And I love Christmas because it is such a wonderful story. You and I were not there, so we cannot imagine the scenes, the actors, and all the intricacies that make up the Christmas story. Imagine this one on the fields of Bethlehem. Here are shepherds watching their flock by night. Suddenly an angel appears to them, announcing to them that a child has been born, and that child is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Whilst they are there wondering what this is all about, they see a heavenly host playing to them fantastic music and listen to the words of the song. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to all people of goodwill. Luke chapter 2 verses 13 and 14. What a story. What a scene to behold. As rich and as varied as this story is, we may miss the lessons. But there are few lessons that we have to take from it to guide our lives. That he sent his son, his only begotten son, to come and live among us so that we can see what God is like, so that he can connect us back to God. God also shows us that he loves us and no matter how much sin we commit, he wants us to be his children and that is why he sent Jesus to us. Will you decide to live for him today? Thirdly, it gives us news to share, good news big news the great news and what is this news that God is willing to receive humanity back to himself and help us to live every day and forever this is the Christmas story are you sharing with someone but even though it is a time of excitement there are some who do not rejoice why because they are lonely they feel lonely in the midst of all the celebration because they are people with disability. They may be widows or orphaned, poor, needy, homeless, immigrants, on the run or in the hospital or prison. On an occasion like this, will you reach out to somebody and also share the joy of Christmas with them? Yes, it's good to pray with them, but visit them and have a parcel for them. Have some good word to share with them. And I wish you all the best of God's blessings. The blessings of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. May it abide in your heart. May the joy of Christmas be with you, not only today, but always. And may you live this year and the coming year to fulfill God's divine purpose and assignment for you. You are a person on a mission. And that mission is God ordained. Live for Him. I wish you Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. God bless you. <music>